Is there a boycott uh, of voluntary off-season in-person activities going on with uh, the NFL Players Association in the NFL? Well, I, I don't think boycott's the word. Um, I think to start, the off-season is voluntary, and that has slowly lost its definition yes. over time when it comes to voluntary off-season workouts. Uh, and I think some of the media and some fans, and I know a lot of the teams have – stopped looking at voluntary as meaning actually voluntary. Um, and I think guys right now are making an informed decision about what's in their best interest uh, when it comes to their health and safety. And that's what being a professional is all about, is making informed decisions for what's best for your, your health, your career. And guys are doing that. Um, and we're seeing those those people come out and come forward and say what they want to do moving forward. Okay, so is there is there there's no coordination occurring at the union level with all the teams is now four uh, based on my count, including the defending Super Bowl champs, which will definitely um, get some attention. Um, is there no coordination between these teams uh, at all? Uh, between the teams, no, but the, we're, we're the union. So when, when guys have questions and mm-hmm. guys want to know what's going on in negotiations, what whether they're going to be protected, what are the protocols, uh, we give them those answers and we give them that that data and that information. So um, we're, we're in contact with all the teams because that's our job as a union is informing our players on, on what's going on and, and what they, uh, what information they need. So how many teams do you expect um, based on the information that they've been asking for and that has been provided to them to wind up with similar stances as the lions bucks Seahawks and Broncos, as you and I currently are talking, JC Treader. Uh, it, it really comes down to each each person uh, making their individual choice. So those conversations will continue to happen, I'm sure. But if, if we just take a step back for a second, mm-hmm. we did this all of last year. We had a virtual off season, and some feared what would happen with injuries or what would happen with the product on the field. And what we saw was injuries were down. We had a 23% drop in missed time injuries last year. Uh, We had a 30% reduction in concussions. Nearly every type of injury was down or flat compared to their five-year trends. And then when it comes to the product, we saw scoring be up. We saw the margin of victory be as as close as it's been in over a decade. We've seen more teams in the playoff hunt at the end of the season uh, than ever before. We have saw more come from behind victories than ever before. So when injuries are down and parity is up, and drama's up, and scoring's up, uh, it starts to point to the fact that this isn't necessary. And when when you go back, all you're risking is getting hurt and potentially losing out on making the team. Guys are going to have to start making a decision on what's best. That's in a normal year. What's going on right now is COVID's still going on, and we're at three times the daily cases that we had last year at this time, and we're not back to normal. So there are, there are decisions to be made with a pandemic going on that last year we both agreed, the NFL and the NFLPA, that's in everybody's best interest to just stay safe and stay apart for a while. And now you hear stories like Jason Tatum come out and talk about how he's had to take an inhaler before every game because he's still feeling the, the effects of COVID. Miles Garrett talked about it publicly this year. So as a player, when you're looking at all this information, why would you go back in April, May, June – risk catching COVID, and then when you actually have to perform during the season, you might be still feeling the ill effects of that that would affect your performance, affect whether you make the team. Um, Guys have to make those decisions for themselves now. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.